welcome back everyone to Aussie's Grammar. And I wish to start off by wishing everyone a very happy new year. And I hope that 2018 is everything you expect it to be. So the photos that I am scrapping today are of my cheeky little girl. And she's giving me that look that says, I'm thinking of doing something naughty. Should I? Should I not? And, you know, you can sort of see the little gears in the little head sort of going tick 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 mm, is it worth getting in trouble oh i don't know but anyway this is her i'm about to do something naughty face or cheeky face so i started off by trimming this paper that i had in my stash for quite a while and i've just taken about about a centimeter off all four sides and i am going to match it against this creamy cardstock but it's you can't really see it on, on the camera, but it's embossed and it's a really lovely pattern. So what I've decided to do, so I don't use it all up, I'm just gutting the inside of it so I, I can match it the other one and I can use that paper for something else in the future. So I'm going to roughen my edges a bit and I'm using my, my blade, my Stanley knife, whatever that thing's called, only because... I cannot find my Tim Holtz Distress Tool. I don't know where it is. It's disappeared in this scrapbook of mine. So to save you the agony of watching me distress all four sides, I've just skipped to the end. And I'm now going to be inking all four sides with this Distress Oxide. And the colour that I'm using is Fired Brick. I do spare you the agony of watching me ink all four sides. I should skip to the end of it very soon. And there it is, all done. So I'm just going to use some double-sided tape to adhere it to my mat. And like magic, I've added double-sided tape to all four sides and it's now adhered to the mat. Voila! I'm undecided at this point if I want to add a third mat to this layout or not. So when in doubt, move on to something else and think about it. So I'm just going to add a bit of gesso using my hand just to tone down this paper a bit so that um, when I put the photos on, it's not so much in your face. You will see me bring in the photo in a few times and that's only because I want to make sure that where the photo is going to be, I've toned down the paper because I want the photo to be the main focus and not the, pat the patent the patent paper. Gosh, I hope all that dribble made sense. So I have decided that I will add a third mat to this project and I'm just trimming just a little bit of all four sides and then I'm going to adhere it to this brown cardstock. And the reason why I did that was because I wanted to bring out more of the brown that's in the patterned paper. And I really like how, how it looks with the three layers of paper matted like that it's just bringing out all the colors in the um, patterned paper and as you can see this patterned paper is from basic gray and it's from 2011 so yes using up some of my old stash sorry i get a bit excited when i do that i'm just going to be trimming my photo down a bit just to get rid of some of that negative space that's really not doing anything to the photo and then, as I was going through some of my scrap pieces of paper, I found this lovely patterned, it's sort of brown with um, beige in it, which is the colours that's also in the, in the patterned paper. And I am trying to think of a way to use it, because as you can see, I don't have a lot of it left. I've decided to keep all this in, just so that you could see how you can use your scraps of paper to match a photo. And, you know, use up your stash that way. At, at the end of the day, when all this is um, matted, you can't really tell that it's all bits and pieces of, um, of paper. It just all looks like I just used one continuous piece of paper. Wow, how many times have I said paper there? Hmm. Now that flower is the reverse side of that same paper that I matched the photo on and I quite like it so you will see me get my scissors and start to fussy cut these um 
flowers out. I'm not even sure if it's like a flower or not, but I'm going to call it a flower because I don't have anything else to call it. And I quite like how that looks, so I play with the placement quite a bit and then I go back to my uh, paper and I think, oh yes, I can use this one too, so I go ahead and I fussy cut another flower out. This layout is really using all my stash. I don't think I use a lot of embellishments on this layout. It's mainly just this scrap piece of paper that I, I had and I just love the way it all just sort of came together. So since I'm happy with the placement of it all, I'm just going to adhere it using some double-sided tape. I am going to be pulling out my Delish Scraps Just Add Paper Kit and this is the March edition and it was called Pretty in Pink and I'm just going to use the washi tape that came in that kit and I like how that sort of divides the page up a little bit and then I also used the wooden embellishment there, Love, and that was also from that same kit and then you'll see me get my Kaiser Craft, oh what was it, Kaiser Craft Alpha stickers and I'm just going to stick them on some scrap paper just so make, to make it easier to um, stick it all on if it's all, it's easier for me if it's all one word does that make sense i will be coloring in this um this <laughs> with some antique linen distress oxides and i'm just doing it because i didn't i thought that the white was just too in your face and by just using the antique linen it just toned everything down and it helped to tie it all in to the layout a bit more and once again, I'm bashing my stash. These alpha stickers are from Delish, Delish stickers. It's, um, they're designed in Australia, but I believe they're made in China. And I just used them to spell out the word cute. So the title is going to be Love This Cute Cheeky Face. So I like the font of these blue letters, but I don't like the colour. So what do you do? You get your heavy gesso out and you paint over them and then you make them the colour that you want. But in the meantime, while that gesso is drying, I'm just going to work on these embellishments using that fired brick distress oxide all over again. And ah, I'm just using a Tomboy Mocha to get rid of all those white edges which I seem to detest. And I just like to tone everything down using a, well, usually I use black, but in this case I'm using a brown colour. The white gesso was just looking a bit too harsh for my liking, so I am using the Distress Oxides in Antique Linen. And this softens everything up a little bit more, and instead of being so white, it's more of that creamy colour, just like the um, that matte and the pattern paper. I then found this ribbon in my stash and it's got butterflies and little flowers on it and I just loved how that looked and I thought it was sort of nice and cute and girly and everything feminine that I love about it. So I am going to use a Distress Oxide in Antique Linen once again just to tie it in a bit more. I don't like them white in this case. And I just love altering my products. If if it's the wrong colour, you can always change it. Oh, these are some microbeads, and these are all these microbeads are also from the Delish Scraps March kit. And look at that. So what I'm going to do to these little butterflies is I'm just adding some some glue with my fine liner bottle, and then sprinkle the the microbeads. Gosh, nearly got one blank there. The microbeads all over it and it just sticks onto the glue and it just adds a little bit of daintiness to it. I'm going to use this ruby red liquid pearls to go down the centre of the butterfly. But then I decide I don't like it. And I I do do all for butterflies and then go, no, definitely don't like it. So you will see me go in and add some more oil glue down the centre and then just sprinkle this sort of brownish uh, bronzy glitter and I like that so much more. So the flowers I'm going to make a sort of reddish brown colour. It's a Sistress Oxide once again in fired brick and then I will use some liquid pearls for the centre of them and the colour that I use is white opal. There, there it is. 
I'm really loving my liquid pearls lately. Have I mentioned that before? So I'm pretty sure, oh, here we go. Here's a close-up. And doesn't that look pretty? So I just went to my silhouette and I printed out the word cheeky four times. And I'm going to layer these one on top of one another. I just add in some glue. And I like how it gives you this really thick, chunky word. And it just looks like a wooden embellishment only made out of cardstock. And by using four layers of cardstock, I just love how thick that looks. It looks like a wooden veneer. So now I'm just going to be using my Colour Blast in um, the Shimmer Cubes. They're called the Colour Shimmer Cubes. And the colour I'm using is Fire Engine. And to activate the colour, all you have to do is just sprinkle some water onto the um, into the cube. And there you go. Instant watercolours. I've decided I wanted a deeper shade of red for my little word cheeky so I'm going to use the Distress Oxide in Fired Red once again, activate it with some water and uh, paint right on over. I'm now just going along the outer edges of the word and I'm just using the Shimmer Cube and the colour is called Leather. I'm also going to go over the word lightly with this brown colour just to um, add a bit more brown to the to the red so it becomes more of a reddish brown instead of a very stark red. My gesso is dried now so I'm just going to use this same colour to paint the word face. And I'm also going to put a bit of that fired brick onto the um, onto these letters as well. So I'm just going to try the placement and see how everything looks once I put it all on my page. And of course I wasn't happy with the word face. I just didn't like the colour and I didn't like the texture. So I'm going to go in using some of my Prima Thinner Bear um, Rust Pastes. And I start off with the colour Red Rust. And for my second layer I'm going to be using the Brown Rust Paste. And then I'll go in with a third coat and this is going to be called Gold Rust Paste. I absolutely love the texture that this paste gives to the, um, to the, I don't know, it wasn't, it's not really chipboard, it's not foam, I don't even know what material these letters were made of, but it's just given a really nice old world rusty sort of textured feel. And it also worked in really well with the colours in the in that flower that I fussy cut out. I'm just trying to add a bit of balance to my layout now. So I'm going to use a scrap piece of paper, add some more of that washi tape that's on the other side and just adhere it to the right hand side of the photo. And this little love heart that I'm gluing down, that was also from the Delish Scraps March just add paper kits and another little flower that I fussy cut out adding it to that little well, little bottom right hand corner there of the photo and then I've added a little word thing that I had in my stash and that just says life is beautiful and then another little word that says blessed up the top and it's all done so thank you everyone for watching sorry this was a bit of a long video but there was a bit of work to it and I'm really happy how it all turned out here are some still photos and till next time, I wish you all a fantastic 2018 and thank you all that support me. Love you all. Bye.